uh, start shooting the sequel to The Young Pope, uh, which yes. we're very, very excited about. But, Steve, <laughs> I didn't know this. You, you've actually met... Pope Francis, when you scream Philomena I mean, at the back. <laughs> how's that going to make me feel? It's like no, a short you... liver. Did no, you, yeah. you pretend to be the Pope. Steve, so you've got the real Pope. The Pope. Yeah. <laughs> but, but is there any protocol when you're meeting the Pope? I imagine told there's anything? quite a lot of protocol. Is it like yeah. when you meet the Queen? Don't, uh, don't, don't swear, don't touch him. <laughs> um, I, it, well, no, it was funny, actually, because I met him with Philomena, who's this woman who I made a film about yeah. f five Isn't years ago. Because that film was hardly a positive reflection. Uh, of the no, no, but it, it was quite critical of the Catholic Church, but yeah. the Pope was like... The, the new Pope is quite kind of, like... Um, he listens a bit more yeah, than the, other one, cool the old ones. Yeah. Yeah. pretty cool dude. And, yeah, and he, uh, he, was, he sort of said, come, come along, I'll meet you. And we screened the, the film in the Vatican. But, but I remember being told by a, a friend of the Pope, saying, you can talk to him in English, but he's from Argentina, so... Um, if you can make your words, the English words used, Latin-based words, that would be really useful. Wow. I was trying to... Right, 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 I, mean, if, <laughs> I wouldn't even know well, where to start. Which one's Anglo-Saxon and which one's a Latin? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so what did you do? I said, hello, this is Philomena, you may have heard about her. And you straight into Billy Connolly. Yeah. And I went, yeah. <laughs> I said, hey, what's it like, me in the pool? <laughs> <laughs> but when, you, when the young Pope came on, did you get any feedback from, from the Catholic Church? The, the best feedback I got was... Uh, well, because we're doing a new season or a new a sequel, because it's actually got a different name, it's going to be called The New Pope. Um, I met with the costume designer, and he said, he's this wonderful Italian uh, uh, guy, Carlo, and he said, uh, the man that made my hats, I had rather magnificent hats in the first one, big straw hats mm. of all different colours. Mm. The guy that made them apparently got phone calls from all around the world, from bishops, cardinals, <laughs> or ordering these hats. In really? In colours, one, you know, from all, yeah. And this guy's made a fortune. Oh, that's sensational. So, basically, I've had a huge sartorial influence on the Catholic... Well, thing. I'm looking forward to when we see the Pope turn up in these yeah, yeah. trousers. Yeah. So this, would be, this would really be a jump. Now, Bo bogey, bogey Pope. <laughs> now, Jude, we have to talk about this. We are all very, very excited for Captain Marvel. Uh, it's out next year. Um, I'm sure... This is one of those projects that they're more than happy for you just to tell everybody all about it. Oh, Would that be right? Yeah. 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 Who likes to know all, everything? Yeah. How it ends? Yeah. 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 I, I can't tell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you Brie Larson plays Marvel. Right. That's, Captain Marvel. OK. Who in your life tries to get the plot out of you? Because didn't you take your kids to the set and they had to sign, like, non-disclosure My kids were you? literally, like, jumped on. Yeah. Because they hadn't signed these contracts when we went in. Uh, and I'm just showing them around having a happy family day out, pointing out the sort of stunts and these wonderful spaceship sets. And they, yeah. got, they got leapt on and paperwork flashed in front of them. Yeah. So they kind of know what's going on, but I wasn't allowed to tell them the name. It's quite fun, and I'm one of those people, if you say a little bit, you say everything, so I've just had to keep quiet about everything. <laughs> well, I just haven't told anyone my name in it, even, or anything. Really? I've got, yeah, I just it's hope... Dave. The thing is... I... You're playing Dave. <laughs> You're playing Dave, Dave the Janitor. In Captain oh, Marvel. No. Dave the Janitor. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, Dave. <laughs> There's never a Dave in yeah. these films. No. Never a Dave. There needs to be. So what's he called? Nigel. OK. <laughs> Reggie, do you have a question for any of our guests this evening? Yes, I do. Tonight's question goes to you. Uh, I guess Lon Coogan. Uh, should you, uh, or, yeah, should you, get into a spaceship and experience zero gravity for the first time and have a view of the planet, do you think you'd be like, hey, this is cool? Or would you be put into an immediate and deep existential crisis? Oh, it's definitely the latter. Um, definitely I, 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 the latter. Yeah, and I, one, has to, one has to embrace that sort of a challenge. Existential crisis every day for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I would probably throw up. <laughs> uh, and then have an existential crisis. <laughs> uh, having already seen the results in the future, you are both correct. It's absolutely correct! Please thank our incredible guests, Jude Law, Steve Coogan, Sam Morales, and some...